In this video, we will discuss treatment of the hemorrhagic stroke. In hemorrhagic stroke, blood pressure should be lowered to less than 130 because hypertension is the most common cause of hemorrhage. Preferred drugs are non-vasodilating drugs given IV. Examples are nicardipine, labetalol or asmolol. What's the treatment of severe hypertension? Treatment of severe hypertension is with recombinant factor 7a. Why? Because it decreases the risk of hematoma expansion. What's the treatment of cerebellar hematoma? Cerebellar hematoma of more than 3 cm diameter requires surgical evacuation. Patients with hematoma between 1 to 3 cm diameter are required careful observation for impaired consciousness and respiratory failure. So if the hematoma is more than 3 cm, surgical evacuation and observation for a hematoma of between 1 to 3 cm diameter. Okay, what are the treatments of normal and increased intracranial pressure in hemorrhagic stroke? If intracranial pressure is normal, intracranial pressure often remains normal, but large hematoma cause midline shift with obtundation, coma or hydrocephalus. So the treatment for midline shift normal intracranial pressure is osmotic agents coupled with induced hyperventilation. What's the disadvantage of hyperventilation? Hyperventilation causes vasoconstriction and ischemia so it should be done for short duration. Number two if the intracranial pressure is high CSF is drained and osmotic therapy continued. Number three if the intracranial pressure remains elevated then surgical evacuation of hematoma. What's the treatment of bleeding due to drugs. Infusion of prothrombin complex concentrate followed by fresh frozen plasma and vitamin K rapidly reverses coagulopathy. So the treatment of bleeding due to drugs is prothrombin complex concentrate followed by fresh frozen plasma and vitamin K. What's the treatment of bleeding due to thrombocytopenia? If platelet count is less than 50,000 then transfusion of fresh platelets. Next cerebellar hemorrhage of more than 3 cm in diameter or with hydrocephalus should undergo urgent neurosurgical evacuation.